Hi everyone, it's Arnie and in this video, it's pretty awesome video, I'm going to show you why Voodoo is real good on this game. He can do anything if you play him right, but I also have Captain America Infinity War and Star Lord and we are taking path 6 and 7 and it's going to be a lot of interesting fights on this path. And the first one, I have a Scatter Lance uh, Mastery, I checked that I'm recording and it's going to be probably, probably, I checked the profile of this guy and it's rank 5 Medusa on Aggression Fury node, so it's, it's pretty scary, one mistake with Medusa and you probably die, so I'm thinking to boost a little bit just to make sure all the wars are so close and we need to do our best and it's a rank 5 Medusa and now the strategy with Voodoo you know guys, it's Medusa, so with Medusa my goal is to put an outcome on her just to reduce the chances for her gaining the Furies and also uh, being parried by her and just pay attention to the fight. Once I applied an outcome on her, Brother Daniel helps a lot. Uh, she's not getting any Furies uh, and I'm not talking about aggression Furies, so they are living struts and I did two hits, no parry. And now, when she in this mode, it's pretty scary, and I can understand why they put Medusa, especially rank 5 here, uh, with Aggression Fury. One, one hit, you'll probably die. It's, it's very, very risky. And now, again, my special on that combo, let's power drain her. And Voodoo, oh man, there is no Furies. Where are the Furies, Medusa? And here is the first one, but... I'm trying to parry and my parry is way off so I will go for intercept, let's nullify some stuff, it's only 50% chance to nullify but still, and the fight is almost over and rank 5 Medusa, she's almost down, boys and girls, almost down, no Medusa. This is the first fight that started this war, I was pumped up after this fight and next one is the science rank 3 and I thought maybe Spider-Man? It's, uh, it's not such a high health pool uh, but it was Thor Ragnarok and I brought Captain America Infinity War, it's Bane node and I thought it only stun him U node but you will see that I'll do my SP1 and it won't apply bleed on him I think so as you can see here I'm transferring Bane perfectly on this fight and when you fight Thor Ragnarok you need to be careful with his smash Sometimes he catches me with this, and here you see immune. And I was pretty sure that this node is only stun immunity and hence abilities, but not bleed immune because caps sp1 is yeah, just it's a bleed node. And now bane on me, but it's do no damage at all. I'm checking no smash, and he's down. And now to node 24 and it's a 6 star science champion, I thought it's going to be void on this node, maybe wasp, I don't know, but this is going to be something worse, something scarier, the one of the scariest champion, here I do a dumb thing, I use a mystic uh, power boost and it doesn't work on cosmic champions, uh, but it will help me on my next fight. And it's going to be power of the million suns, ladies and gentlemen, power of the million suns. It's so scary because, you well, know, sun, it's a very powerful thing, but million suns, it's even scarier. But, this guy is not immune to poison, and before the fight, I went and removed dexterity. This is the main key on for this node. Once you remove dexterity, this node is very very easy and it costs around 16 units to remove and bring it back so it's cheaper than using potions, uh, using specific champions and I also wanted to show something here, Spirit of the Venom, it can stack and if you apply it, it will just reduce uh, uh, regeneration so I can also have dexterity with Voodoo, apply poisons and see my opponents die. I also put an odd combo here, this will give me a lot of stunts, even with high limber and this guy runs and I think max limber. But the fight is almost over, would have poisoned him to death, no issues, sun is down, sorry sentry. Uh, I'm moving on to path number 7 now and here we have 
couple of great fights and also this interesting, interesting uh, skill champion. I was thinking for Kingpin uh, bring Star Lord and many wars it was always risky to with Star Lord because the Furies and Furies can trigger the fat. And I decided, you know what? I will go with Doctor Voodoo. He's a god in this game. He can do anything. And also with an odd combo, I have more chances to parry him uh, and apply poison and he won't shrug it off. It's also Mystic Ward node, so you will see not all poisons will stack, but the fight, uh, I'm trying to bait his specials and even without dexterity you can just move back and keep a distance. Just with specials you need to be careful. Here this Kingpin. The fight is going to be very very close because one downside to Voodoo is he is not a very hard hitter in the game. Uh, he can poison opponents, he can power drain them, he can power manage but he is not a hard hitter and I'm not a super boosted. I have only one, my 10% general boost and another 10% attack boost. So my attack is just 20% boosted and I'm not going to use a super high boost. I'm not going to spend money to buy them. And everything, just I'm looking at the time, it's 50% uh, 50, uh, 50 of the time and I still have more than 50% health. So this is a little bit risky now. I need him to be more, uh, more nice with his special, trigger them when I need them. I'm doing everything on odd combo. I don't want to uh, trigger Buffet because if I will do an even combo it will do power burn but it will disable it due Buffet node and he will gain around 25,000 HP back <laughs> so it's a problem here. Uh, we're dancing him we're here with Kingpin you see he's a nice dude I hate this guy I love to play with him he's so fun with his heavies and I have 9 laws uh, basically I can try and convert them to poison but he can track them off and go into overburn mode, I mean, overrun, overburn, I don't remember the mode but his special will be unstoppable, he will gain fury. Uh, it's a risky move to do, I'm playing much safer but now I'm looking at the time and it's 42 seconds and I also noticed that my, I don't know, mystic boost is not really working. Uh, I'm doing nice damage, but you see, my power is just not changing at all. So 30 seconds left, 5%. Come on, be nice, do your special. And yes, he triggered his special. And now, let's go for the kill, and boom. Dr. Voodoo for the win. Go, go, Voodoo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Really, really interesting fight. I see a skill here. I, it's a Groshan armor node, and I thought it's going to be Black Panther Civil War. I looked at the health, maybe Killmonger, but not. It's Korg, and you know this has made me happy. This made my day seeing Korg on this node, and you will see why. You will see because Voodoo, Voodoo is a Korg killer. It's just pay attention. All those armors, I'm like. Mm -hmm -hmm. So all those armors are going to be poison. Oh man! And Korg isn't immune to poison. Now I apply the node combo after all those poisons. Uh, just you know, prevent the stones damage. And so rank four Korg. So the fight now. I'm not scared about anything. I uh, just checking that I'm recording because of the recording issues that I had. And I'm moving on. <laughs> poison, poison, poison. You can shrug it off, but with uh, with brother Daniel on my side, mm -mm. nope, no go, no go. And now I'm like, oh, more poisons, more poisons. Come on, baby, do your special, do your special too. Let's finish the fight. And you see, it's only unstoppable. It should be also unblockable, but maybe brother Daniel, who knows? But just boom, SP2, Kirk down, rank 4 Kirk. goodbye my friend, goodbye. And next fight, this is one I was thinking, maybe it's, it's, uh, it's, I don't really know who it is, I was thinking about Sentinel, uh, but this is a Green Goblin, it's also one of the things that make me happy, and here, also you need to use uh, Voodoo on the right way, it's a uh, Mystic Ward node, so you have 
we're not if I will have 20% chance on it, 80% fail. Uh, but I'm still going to try to see if it works. And I managed to put uh, three poison stacks, and now his region is went to garbage. And I applied an odd combo, and the reason for it. I want to prevent the, the regeneration, I want to prevent the arc overload, so first time it triggered. I have 50% chance to prevent it and this is my goal. Here Goblin recovered so fast after my 5 hit combo but it's kabam, no one will tell anything about it. And now I'm trying to bait his special SP2 sometimes can be tricky if you miss it you're going to die. And let's see, we'll be able to prevent uh, our overload here. And nope, no more arc overload. This means this goblin will have only basic regeneration. So it's time to dance, baby. It's time to poison this guy to death. And boom! All, almost all loss converted to poison. And his health just melting down. And I'm like. Man. Now let's bait his special. Come on. Do not attack him after his special. And if anyone tells that Voodoo isn't God, probably don't know much about this champion. But if you play Voodoo right, if you know your opponent, if you know how to play with Voodoo, you can do a lot of stuff. I think you can, you can fight against anyone and beat him. So this is my last fight of this war, this is going to be Dupe Sabertooth and this is also Strike Back Nod and Recovery and I'm bringing Star Lord and the goal here is to build combo, ignore the regeneration and hope that the combo will just beat the regeneration and I'm hoping that this guy is going to be nice with his uh, specials, it tagged me here and I'm like oh man I lost my combo and this is a scary moment, dying to timeout, this is the saddest thing and I'm not boosting by the way if you notice the, for the second part because I was very confident of myself that I'm going to win everything here and I did SP2 and it's power drain hymns, finally power drain do something great and this Sabertooth is pretty nice, he triggered his specials and I'm like, nice, nice, keep going with your specials. And I'm blocking, I don't need Star Lord for uh, nothing, only this node. I was thinking about Kingpin but I decided to go with Voodoo as his soul and... But everyone wants to fight and everyone will get the portion of the fight. And... I'm looking at the time, I'm looking at the combo, everything works well. Unfortunately, we lost this war by 2 deaths. It's by around 500 points, it's basically 2 deaths. And this was a little bit sad moment, but our opponents did an amazing job. They played very, very well. And everyone in this season, just looking at the profiles while, while they're playing, everyone boosting so hard uh, just to stay to win the wars and you know we're trying we're trying our best we're having fun if you like this video click the subscribe like share follow me on my twitter and see you soon on my next video